On this blog post, the breadcrumb starts with the home text and then the post title. We can add a second link text to this structure by changing the breadcrumb settings. We can choose categories, formats, and tags. But what if instead of a category, we add a custom text and link such as blog that links to the blog page? Let's start and create that function. You can use your child themes functions.php file, or in this example, I'm using the snippets plugin. Let's name it custom blog breadcrumbs. We are going to use the WPSEO breadcrumb links filter by Yoast. Next, let's create the function. Add a condition to check if the Yoast breadcrumb function exists, and as well as if the variable breadcrumbs is an array. If both are true, let's create an array of keys such as text and URL and values such as blog. Now, let's add an array splice function so that whatever values in the array that we created will get inserted in the breadcrumbs array. Next, let's return the modified breadcrumbs. Then we can save it. It is now working quite well. One last thing is to wrap the condition and the array splice function we added earlier so that it only affects the blog posts and will not take effect on the other post types. Thank you for watching.